when are you going to do a Q&A? Well, I'm glad you asked, Sam, because I'm doing the Q&A right now. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, right? This is brilliant. Yeah. I'm, doing I've what the people it, want. I've been having it a lot, so I thought it's about time, and we're going to mix it up with yourself as Quizmaster. And uh, yeah, so, Perfect. far away, I've, I've been through the comments, okay. and I've extrapolated a few that I thought were Which I have here. But well, I'm just going to shake them up. Yeah, just mix it up, throw in some curveballs if you wish, and uh, yeah, okay, far fine. away. Right, quite a lot of people want to know. Yes. Why didn't you buy the GT3 RS? <laughs> like, that was the number one question. When I got this car, they were like, it's not an RS though, is it? It's, it's not an RS. What, a crap one? Yeah, I, I What's just- What's happened, uh, you running out of money? I'm just poor, man. I just can't afford it. Um, <laughs> no, what, the, the main, two reasons, two main reasons. Number one reason is, uh, they are £100,000 over list right now. So yes. if you want a GT3 RS in a right-hand drive variant, when you're looking at 250,000 quid. Can you still get on a list for, like, like, can you go to a dealer nowadays and say, I would like a GT3 RS? Um, what would they say to you? Not as far as I'm aware. Okay. Like, they are what I would call rocking horse shit. <laughs> 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 like, you don't find it. And um, I think right hand drive variants, they've made such a small amount of them that they just aren't about. So, anyway, number one reason is, if I even if I did want one, I'm not willing to pay 100,000 over there, like, normal value. No, who uh, Number two matters. is, and this is purely a, a personal thing, and I know people think I'm mental, the wing's too big. Oh, the what? wing is too big, No, bro. you it can is... never have a wing too big. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the I want to put a jumbo jet wing on my car. The wing is massive, it's and so it, cool. it's okay if, because I drive this car now as my, as my daily driver, and when I'm in the RS, I feel like I've turned the wrong way out of the pits. You know what I mean? <laughs> I it's know, it's like, I quite like that. that. And I feel a bit of a tool, actually. Yeah. It's like, the 997 wing is okay. Like, I can live with that. It's not, this isn't exactly a small wing. I mean, you no, can no. still do your ironing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it's still a decent yeah, wing. Yeah, it's still a decent wing. I just find the, the 991 RS wing is like actual race car. The thing is as well, um, I know we've only just, well, this is our first question, but it's, yeah, been, it's no, been 10 minutes, yeah. so we're going well. Um, I, I I don't know, you could use that RS every day. I think it's too... You think it's too hardcore? Well, I don't know if it's too hardcore, but I think it's too like much. It's a bit ostentatious. Not because of the wing, because I love the okay. wing. Yeah. But there's something about it which I think this is more subtle, which yeah, I like. It might be, it might be. Anyway, let's move on because we... <laughs> The next question <laughs> is from Greg Maton or Mate On. Mate On. I don't know, I think it's probably Maton. Maton. What was your first car? My first car was a Mini Cooper. Really? Yeah, it was standard, a Mini Cooper. Box standard Mini Cooper. Box standard Mini Cooper. Um, and at the time, you think it's the best thing in the world. Of course, uh, your first car, yeah. I think, is always your best well, car. Well, do you know, I actually tried to buy it back. Did I, you? I tried to find it, uh, and it turns out it was written off and it's off the road. Which is such a shame, because I, I would have bought it back, I know. Yeah, uh, so I, I yeah, don't know what that is. It always... Mini Cooper, and I called it Guinness, because it was black with white top. <laughs> Hilarious. You alcoholic. Yeah. Okay, um, Hussein Sajid. Sorry, Hussein, if that's a big wrong pronunciation. What do you enjoy most about making YouTube videos? Um, God, that's a, no, that's a big question. It is a big was, question. Okay, in short... You can only pick one thing, though. Otherwise, you'll disqualify. Oh, Christ. Um, cars? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I like, I, like, making the videos, I like the creativity of, like, creating them. Like, getting sure. the angles. Just trying to come up with new angles and new ways of making stuff look cool. And I get to indulge in cars at the same time. Okay, so if I told you you could continue doing YouTube, but you only have to make videos about makeup, would you still be enthusiastic? No. Okay, so it's about the cars. That, 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 well, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. Just, see, this is why he is the quiz master. <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> okay, um, Dandy197, why did you actually start doing YouTube? Uh, partly because of you. <laughs> Very much partly because of Sam. <laughs> that's why I take um, 5% of all of his earnings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been hanging around with YouTubers. I've, I've known Shmi for the last five or six years and every now and again he's going to be like, when are you going to put something on online? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And then I bumped into you at uh, Salon Privé. Indeed. And you were just like, just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Make it happen. So, I knew, um, I knew you had the... Yeah. So, Amazing. here I am. Congrats. Lots of people want to know, what the hell do you do for a living? <laughs> Not just what do you do, but what, what the, the hell, hell do you do, do, do for a living? Okay, so, I'm in two industries. Uh, the first one is textiles, uh, predominantly fabrics. So I, I've, I've sort of designed and patented quite a lot of uh, fabric tech. Amazing. Um, and the other one is what I called curation. So if somebody is searching for a rare car or a rare watch or a rare whatever, they come to me and I will source that thing for them. Okay. So uh, yeah, 
Those are two very different industries, but that's my general game. And now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. The big mystery is it's solved. It's yeah. solved. Okay. Um, oh, this is a fantastic question. Oh. Nick Brudar, you just read my mind completely. Which moisturizer do you use for your beard? This is 100% organic face oil. Sure. I don't. I don't use any. No. I straight up wake up and my face is so greasy. It just. It's just like a natural fertilizer for my face. How long did you take to grow the beard? Ah, uh, since I'm 16, I've been working on this. Oh really? Okay, that gives me hope because this is like four years of growth. No, right no. Here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna shut you down because this is about. Well, this is this is about two weeks. Oh my god. But. I, Two weeks. I, I, I have had face fluff since I've been about 16. You're like yeah. Gandalf. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of people, are you going to put, I, I, I keep saying that by the way, because he writes down when a lot of people ask the question. Because so many people ask him, I don't want to like, yeah. isolate one, one person's comment, because they're going to be like, hey, yeah. I asked that question. It's not some like, Swedish guy called, a lot of people. <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> it's of people. Guy, yeah. um, are you going to put an exhaust on this car, the GT3? Well, funnily enough, we've got a nice straight road here, so you tell me. Do we need one? No! <laughs> That's what I'm saying, oh my but, God, it but yes so I am! Good. <laughs> As it happens. Because that is the first time I've been on board a GT3 when it's properly wound out. From sound and speed point of view, yeah. I feel like you're about to scare the shit out of me well, once again. The best thing about this is the launch control is mm -hmm. pull the paddles in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes! That is literally warp speed. Okay, now I can relax. Yes. Back to the question. So you're going to definitely put an exhaust? Yeah. What, what, what kind? <laughs> um, I, 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 the general consensus is, is IPE, but I'm going to go acropovic. Acropovic? acropovic okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. That's so, going to sound like an animal. Yeah, it's going to sound like an animal. And we'll address why in that video. Okay, fine. Good point. Good point. Don't move on too much. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Ryan, can we expect you on road trips with see-through glass, SOL, and Schmeeve? Hmm. Funny question, can we? Ryan. You can answer that one. Well, I submitted that question myself. No, I didn't. <laughs> Ryan, Sam, on. aka Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. We are all going to be going on road trips. This year is a big year for everybody. 2016 is going to be amazing. We've got lots of stuff planned, and of course, James is going to be involved. And it should be kicking off in springtime. I think will be our first road trip. So stay tuned massive, on all of our channels. Massive excitement. Yeah, We've literally just been talking guys. about how excited we are. Yeah. Many angles of much trips. awesomeness. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we're all going to try and make different videos. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it'll be seven videos of the same road trip. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I can't wait for that. That's going to be big. Um, Mark's Apollo, would you ever sell all your cars if it meant you could buy one hypercar? Okay, wait, wait. Let's classify what do we exactly mean by hypercar. Because my idea of hypercar is the sort of LaFerraris, P1s of the world. Okay. The 918s. So we're talking about modern, probably built in the last two years. LaFerrari, yeah. 918, P1, Koenigsegg, yeah, that kind Zonda, of thing. Huayra, fine. No other cars at all. No, you, you had to sell all of your cars for one hypercar. No. No, I wouldn't. I'd sooner... A vast array, a plethora. Okay, of, so I'm offering of you a LaFerrari and you would turn it down. It's not that I would turn it down. No, you would. You just said you'd turn it down. What a, I mean. From a value it's just point of view. It's awkward now. It's just yeah, awkward. from a value point of view, I'd take the car. But from, I'd sooner have a selection of cars to choose from rather than one car. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is quite good. Old Speckled Ben 1. Because Old Speckled Ben 2, he's a, he's a yeah, douchebag. We, we only like Old Speckled Ben 1. Yeah. How do you decide which car you're going to drive each day? Uh, well, I don't have a LaFerrari, so I just... No, no, <laughs> so I, I walk out and I... Ah, okay. yeah. No, but seriously, like, in seriously. The, I know today we were driving the GT3 and you, you say that this is more your daily, but let's say we're talking about the weekend. It's a Saturday, sunshine is beautiful, you've got to go from here to have coffee with somebody 30 miles away. Well, it's to it's like what you decide to eat when you're in a restaurant. It depends on the mood you're in, you know? If you want to hear a, f 
a fabulous noise to go in the F12 if you want you know, a bit more comfort. If you want like incredible dynamics, you take this or the Speciali. Like track day, probably Speciali over, over this, just because when you get that thing to 10 tenths, it's unreal. But on the road, driving fast, this, taking crap to the tip, Range Rover, like, what do you want to do? <laughs> okay, you know okay, okay. I mean? yeah. Let's flip that on its head a little bit. I can yeah. ask you two-parter. <laughs> Firstly, yeah. is there any times when you wouldn't drive one of your cars? So you went outside, what are the conditions that would make you go, right, I'm definitely not taking the F12 today, or I'm definitely not taking the GT3, wait. And part two, yeah. Yeah. for said future coming road trips, yeah. which car are you most excited about potentially taking? I, I, you, maybe you haven't decided yet, but so that's a two-parter from me. See through glass, subscribe now. Okay, um, well, I would say I wouldn't take the F12 out when it's snowing, but <laughs> that's exactly what we did. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you nearly died. <laughs> yeah, so, I almost yeah. died on that one. So, but as a, as a, a rule of thumb, Weather-wise, I kind of enjoy, more enjoyment in the in the F12 when it's not trying to kill me. Okay. So yeah, mostly weather dependent. And do you feel like the F12 level. is more weather dependent than the Speciali? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The F12 the F is the worst. Yeah, F12. Rain. Like, if, if if you're too heavy-footed, it feels like it's trying to kill you. Yeah. Whereas whereas the Speciali just just takes it. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah. That's that's interesting actually. Yeah. And I'm road trip, I'm most excited about this car because okay. it's the newest car. Fine. And I haven't really done much travelling with it, but I'm also really looking forward to exploring what this thing's like in the Alps. Yeah, my god. The turn in on this thing is ridiculous. If that's where so. we're going. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather... Oh, can I take this phone call? Yeah, <laughs> of course. This must be urgent. <laughs> it, it, it is 
it is about the storytelling. Of course, over time, as you get more confident, as you're able to afford various bits of equipment that you might want to buy, great, it all adds to the visual effect. But it is predominantly about the story you're telling, what you are, and your personality, I think. Yeah. Be yourself. Yeah, don't be a douche. Be yourself. Don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't, a don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. I struggle yeah. with that a lot. <laughs> struggle with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Igor Muller. Igor? Igor? Sorry, I've got that wrong. Igor Muller. Why do you daily drive such hardcore cars compared with the Range Rover? <laughs> uh, no obvious answer to that. Yeah, well, it's just just because you're long time dead, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, that, that, that's pretty much it. I don't want to sit in a lazy boy yeah. every day. So, uh, Igor, I'm going to ask you. Sorry again, Igor, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I do love you. Um, if you had a GT3 or a Range Rover, which one would you poop? 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 What, which one would you poop, Igor? <laughs> Backfire. <laughs> Which one would you choose? That's what it is, I just want a bit of excitement. I'm looking for more questions. Okay. If you go on my Instagram, there's 200. <laughs> more oh, questions. thanks for that. Yeah. Um, Alex Davidson. If you were stranded on a desert island... <laughs> oh my god. I remember this one. I remember this And you this had question. the woman of your dreams with you. Would you want her to be top half or bottom half fish? <laughs> So, now we find out the bestiality of trimmers. <laughs> Come on. I'd want her to be 100% whole fish because she could either swim me off the island or more sushi for me. She couldn't swim me <laughs> off the island if she was like a salmon. What are you going to do? Like hold on to her? Come hold on to her and fit fin. Just kill her. Yeah, just knock her out. She needs to be like a... Uh, okay, I would have bottom half fish because then at least we could talk. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. Also, this is again from Alex Davidson. If you could have any pre-90s cars, what would it be and why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go F1 for GTR. F1 GTR. Yeah, yeah long yeah. tail. Yeah, no, no, just no. F1 GTR. No, because I'd like to take it on the road. I think long tail's like a barge. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like a barge. Massive, turning That's a circle of an oil tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. So yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, F1 GTR. Yeah. Um, would you ever consider wrapping this GT3? Uh, yeah, I would. Okay. Um, for a tour though, not necessarily for sure for like day to day. You like the silver? Like yeah, I like. The it's silver, but I, nice. I'd be inclined to like wrap in something insane okay. just for a week's like Euro trip. Sure, just Let to add a bit of extra more fun into the angle, Why you not? know. So when you like... reach a hundred thousand subscribers, which will probably be next week, <laughs> yeah, would you ever lend your car to another YouTuber? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I would do that. Any I particular? Lend it. I lend it. There's this guy, uh, what's this? Salamandrin. Yeah, that guy. I'd lend it to him. I'd lend it to him. <laughs> Favourite car film? Favourite car film, the original Fast and Furious. Okay, yeah, come on. Just so the number one. And, and I think that's more of like our age thing. It's pro obviously, it's probably not a good film, but, no, 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 but it's a brilliant film. it was when I was learning to drive. When I just passed my test, it was like right then. And so for me, it was completely on point. It was like really exciting. Amazing. So, so yeah. How many times did it take you to pass your driving test? First time. First time round, two minors. Yes. Two minors. Do you remember what they were? Yeah, uh, overly cautious on both times. Like really? I, yeah, yeah. When I came up to roundabouts, yeah. the guy was like, "You could go now." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Way to kill me, instructor!" Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, "That's okay." It's like, yeah. So you might be down on being overly cautious. Oh my god! So yeah, I got two yeah. minors. Yeah. Wheel yeah, spin. No. Wheel spin. Okay. Which apparently, it's a minor. I was like, "That's a good thing." Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, and then sending, which I didn't know you could get a minor, sending a wave over an old granny. So it was a really wet day when I did my test. And there was a puddle, and I was like, so concentrating, <laughs> I just pull out and threw it, and this wave, and the guy was like, you know, that's a minor. I was like, what? what? So I drowned somebody, basically, and that was, that was a, yeah, down, downhill oh, moment. Oh, God. So that's good. Okay, I think uh, that's probably yeah. like. Yeah, I think, that's, yeah. I think that's about it, is it? I um, think so. Yeah, if there's anything we've missed out, then put it in the comments, and I'll try my best to get back to it. Am I going right here? Which way am I going? Go left. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. This car's so what, what, what do you think of the GT3? I think it's I mean, great. we've been cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah we have every now and again, you've. I'm going to turn my camera on in a second and you're going to scare yeah. me. Okay, um, so. But you know what? Really yeah. impressed. I, 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 I hinted at this in my video. I've never been a big Porsche guy, and before all the Porsche people get on me and beat me up. I'm exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, uh, exactly the same. we discussed this, but the GT3 has really cheap me since this car came out. I love the. This is the Club Sport package, right? Yeah, you get the Club Sport cage, carbon seats, and like. Really cool. Did have a fire extinguisher down there, but it's just in the way. Yeah, it's a bit intense. Hope we don't catch on fire. Yeah, uh, but 
So, thanks to Quizmaster Sam. I'm sure you already subscribed to this He's a big star now. This week, Sam has about 100,000 subscribers. I basically taken over YouTube. Yeah, that's, there's no one bigger. It, just, that is no small achievement. I'm a tyrant. Right? Is, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Set, man. Well, I'm done. No, I'm joking. The big time. Thank you to anyone who has subscribed, um, by the way. Yeah, so if you haven't already, subscribe to Sam because he's kicking out some fantastic content. Um, and yeah, thanks for all of your questions. If there's lots more, I might do a Q&A round two. Uh, but if there's a few we've missed out, stick it in the comments and I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Ciao.